Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Arduino circuit for your Morse code code. So let me just set you up here. Okay, so what you're going to need is your Arduino Uno board circuit, your two breadboards, a screen, and a handful of wires, and then your LED your two resistors and one photoresistor. Let me just get them out here. Okay. So first, you want to take your Arduino Uno and connect a wire to the digital side. We're using the digital side. D12, number 12. And then connect the other end to anywhere on your breadboard. Like this. Now, since we want to connect it to an LED, we take an LED and you'll notice how one side is longer than the other and the longer line or the longer side is a positive force and the shorter one is the negative. So you want to connect the positive side on the same, I'm going to move the wire over, on the same line as your wire that's connected to D12. So connect your longer one there and your shorter one anywhere else on the board. Just like that. Then we're going to take our receiver, one of our receivers, and we're going to put it on the same line as the shorter LED um, wire. One line there and then you can put the other one anywhere else that you want. I'm putting mine right here. Like that. And then get another wire and you want to connect one end of this jumper wire to the same line as the other end of the receiver, not the one that's with the LED, and then connect it to the ground port. Also, oh, got the wrong wire, which is also on the digital side. It's like this. Okay. And then locate your ground on the digital side. It should be two up from D12, just like that. And there you go, you now have your sender. Now, to build the receiver, you wanna take your um, your Arduino, you know, get another wire, and connect it to the five voltage port. So, as you see here, there's a digital side and a power and analog side here. You want to find your 5 volt on the power side. It says power there as well. 5 volt. You can use 3.5 volt, but we're going to use 5 volt for this. Then connect the other end to anywhere on your other breadboard. Just like that. Now, get. Yeah, now you want to get your photoresistor. And what we, we're going to do with this is since the photoresistor doesn't have any polarity right now, we're going to connect one side to the same line as the jumper cable. So the photoresistor doesn't have any polarity, so you can really connect any end because they're both the same. Like that. So one ends with the wire that's with 5 volt and the other one is just on its own line. Fold over. Okay, now connect your resistor the same line as your photoresistor here, the other end, once again, anywhere else. Now same with the sender, we're going to connect a wire to the same line as the resistor that's not with the photoresistor and the other end to ground. So here we're almost done with our receiver, but we have to connect an analog in front of it. We have to connect an analog in between the photoresistor and the resistor. Take your wire, connect it to any of the analog ports. I'm gonna connect it to A0. And then you want to connect the other end to the same line as the photoresistor and the resistor, which is going to be on this line right here. There you go. Now you have your receiver. So for the screen, you got your screen and 
on the right side, you have four outputs, sort of, and the top one says ground, second says VCC, third says SDA, the fourth says SCL. So we're going to connect our ground to ground, the VCC to 5 volt, the SDA to analog 4, and the SCL to A5. So get your wires, my first wire, and I'm going to connect it to ground. Might have trouble staying on. Okay, to ground. And then I'm going to find ground on our Arduino, and we have one more ground open on the power side. So I'm just going to connect it right into here. There you go. Now I'm going to connect VCC. VCC. I'm going to locate 5 volt. Now since 5 volt is already occupied with the receiver, we're going to follow the wire and we're going to connect it on the same line as the wire is connected on 5 volt. So there's still energy or voltage going into this line. So that way if we connect it here, we will still get that same voltage. Next, we have SDA and we're going to connect it to A4, analog 4, which is here on the analog side. Might be getting a bit tricky to find stuff now. Analog 4 over here. And lastly, find a wire that, one, we find a wire that has, okay, here. On SCL, you can't really see. SCL, gotta make sure that the wire is gonna stay on. Connect that to A5. There you have it, your finished circuit.